All the photos in this video have been processed and scanned by the boys over at FW Photo Lab. If you guys have been looking for a lab to handle your film, please look no further. Honestly, there's no reason to because FW will get the job done. And while you're at it, use the promo code MLFILM at checkout and that'll give you a nice little discount to keep you shooting way more film than you need to. All right, so in this episode, I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting. I wanted to take out an old cheap 35 millimeter film camera that I never shoot with that's just been collecting dust. And I found myself in the past week uh, looking for new, new cameras to shoot. And it sent me down this spiral, of course, more Leica cameras. And for a second there, I realized like, why don't you just shoot with what you have? Like make do with what you have. You have cameras here and they're, of course, they're not a Leica. Matter of fact, the camera that I brought out is like a hundred dollar camera. It's a Canon EOS Rebel G with a nifty 50, 50 millimeter lens on it. So altogether, this setup is probably like a hundred bucks. And it made me think, why don't you do an episode or why don't you talk about or film gear or just gear and does gear really matter? And maybe this is also a test for myself to see if gear really matters. And to some degree, yes, it does, because the experience of shooting with certain cameras is far better than others. And honestly, once you get to a certain point in your career as a photographer, I think the experience makes most of it. If it's going to get you off your ass to go make photos, then by all means, take that camera out. I mean, it's, it's no other, just go. But, you know, for a lot of us, I think a lot of us get caught up in this gear acquiring life. And we're always looking for something else to buy to the point where it cripples us from actually going out to make photos, which is what almost happened last week. So I brought out the Nifty 50, I brought out the Rebel G, and this is what I got. All right, so at this point, it was time to meet Ari for dinner up in Flatiron. So I walked up at that for a little bit and pretty much called it quits after that. A couple thoughts on Kodak Gold 200. I actually really, really like this film. Um, maybe not on an overcast day. I didn't really love how green the shadows could be in some of the photos, but overall, I'm pretty happy. I didn't finish this roll of film, so I needed to, one, shoot some more, and then two, I wanted to shoot another roll of film. So I had my boy G, and you guys know him because he's made the beat that we've been listening to this whole time. 
but I hit him up and he was gracious enough to come out and help me film the second half of this episode, which I finished the role of Kodak Gold. And then I also shoot Portrait 400. And then I thought, hey, why don't I compare the two since I shoot Portrait at 200 ISO pretty much all the time. This might not be the best experiment and I can tell you already that Portra kind of handles better in general which no one's really that surprised by it but anyway here is part two. The colors of the buildings in the back. Alright y'all, so that wraps up this week's video. I wanted to leave you guys with a couple more thoughts on shooting with an inexpensive camera and what I felt walking away from it. I left realizing that you really don't need nice equipment and I know we all kind of know this innately, but it's something when you produce photos that look and feel like everything else you're doing was something so minimal something so inexpensive it's kind of inspiring to be honest with you um that camera sits on my dresser and collects dust all the time and i'm not even sure why now you know like the focal length maybe could be an excuse um the style of the camera could be an excuse but i've been complaining about shooting 35 millimeter for a couple months i've been wanting to get back into it and i've had a 35 millimeter camera sitting right there and again this is going to be something I'm going to do far more consistently. I think I should take this camera out all the time now. Take it along travels, maybe. Um, but I'm definitely going to take it out, especially when I need to get out of my comfort zone and shoot differently and shoot. Um, yeah, portraits, I think, would make uh, a lot of sense with this camera. And uh, the other thing is... You guys should definitely hit up FW Photo Lab. I mean, these scans came back. <laughs> Chef's kiss. I mean, geez Louise. Like, again, it's like that. Some some of those photos feel like they could have been shot with my Leica, and I'm like, this camera is literally like a hundred bucks. But <sighs> anyway, so that left me inspired. I hope it may have inspired a few of you out there who probably have some old trusty cameras lying around that they're not shooting but looking to buy more cameras that you'll grab that camera dust it off and take it out for a spin that's it for this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it please like please subscribe it really really helps the channel and it helps me grow this thing 
and inspires me to keep going as well. Um, hit me up in the comments if you have any ideas, suggestions for new videos. Uh, I'm open and down to do them. I'll be doing another video next week. And so I'll see you guys next week. Peace.